Why pray for salvation? The prayer was not for him, Commander. He has already asked forgiveness for the lives he has taken. His wish was for you. Goodbye, Fane. You won't be alone long. It's really fucking sad. God damn it. We're fighting right now to protect the people you're talking about. If you let these people die, that fight is for nothing. It's not that simple. That's really fucking sad. That put a downer on my fucking attitude. Damn. We lost Thane. We lost Morden. My two fucking favorite characters. I like all the characters in this game. In the Mass Effect series. Son of a bitch. Mm. Mm. I've got your briefing private. Let's fill you <sighs> That was some good candy right there. Mm. <laughs> oh. Ashley, big ass. What? Shepherd, I don't know what to say. I'm trying to go over everything in my head. How about sorry? Make sense of it. How about sorry, bitch? Your bandages were still fresh. How did you end up working with Adina? You saw me in the hospital. I was going crazy. Felt like I was letting everyone down. When Udina offered to make me a specter, I thought it was a chance to do some good. I couldn't just sit back and watch either. Yeah. But it sure turned into a mess. I never wanted to put you in that situation. We're on the same side. I can't believe it came to that. We were so close to... Ash, it's okay. We figured it out. We stopped Adina and got to walk away. That's the important part. I can't believe he was responsible for all of it. Was he indoctrinated? It's hard to say. How do we fight something that can worm its way into your head? I don't know. But we don't have a choice. I wanted to talk to you about that. Hackett asked me to join his team. It's a great offer, but... I'd prefer to ride this thing out aboard the Normandy. Fuck off. Permission granted. Permission to grant it to without. fuck off. I'll grab my gear. And Ash? Yeah? It's good to have you back. Yes, sir. Fuck off. <laughs> I'm pissed at her. <laughs> Son of a... One of my subs made a good point. I'll talk Shepard, about that later. I got Anderson patched in. I was just getting him up to speed. Odina? That SOB was always power hungry. But this? He wasn't in charge. Cerberus was just using him to take control of the Citadel. What the hell for? I don't know. Not yet. Could have been a lot worse. Shepard stopped the assassination attempt on Counselor Valorn. Kyline. What? Your assassin. I'll have Hackett send you my reports on him. I take it you two have met. Kaylee Sanders and I had our share of run-ins with him. I shot him in both legs once. Thought that might be the end of him. But it should have begun on Omega, even stronger. Elusive man patch him up? That'd be my guess. Given what they were able to do with you and Grayson, it's a safe bet Lang's even more dangerous now. You know, if Bioware wanted, they could make a game just about Ca uh, Commander Ander or Captain Anderson. Think about it, I mean... Fucking, he used to be a specter. He fought with and against Saren. And he fought against Cal Lang. I mean, they could make a prequel. They could make a, a Star Wars Episode One, like a Mass Effect whatever, before Mass Effect 1. They could. I'm just saying it. They could. I'll take whatever advantage I can get against these bastards. Their attempts may have had at least one unintended side effect. I received word from the Asari counselor. They're requesting an update on the Crucible. Lang has them scared. Enough to send help? Yes, the Asari and Solarians are both throwing in their support now. How's your progress on the Crucible? Good. Our estimates suggest we've completed nearly 50% of the known work. So quickly? 
Once decoded, the schematics are designed in such a way that allows our scientists to easily translate the information. It's not Prothean-specific. Hmm. Are we any closer to understanding how to use it? That's still open for debate. Utilized in the right fashion, our scientists are convinced it can generate enough energy to destroy the Reapers. The question is, how will it dispense the energy, and in what form? You mean, how do you stop it from wiping us all out? Exactly. We think the catalyst is the key to determining how to focus its energy, how to direct its energy at the Reapers alone. I'm working on that. You'll find the answer, Shepard. I'll send you an update on the schematics. And in the meantime, we'll keep building. And we'll keep fighting. Make sure there's an Earth left to come back to. You've always trusted me. I won't let you down. We're still in this. The gods of war haven't given up on us yet. Good luck, both of you. Anderson out. Commander, the Tyrian fleet is stretched thin. We need more support ships. And the Quarians are willing to talk. Understood, sir. I'll look into it. Be careful. We've got reports of instability along the Geth border. Hack it out. It would also be cool if in Mass Effect 4, they had, like, Quarian and... Do you have a moment? Krogan. A contact within Asari High Command was insistent Counselors. I pass on a distress signal to you. Something they can't handle? From what I can tell, they sent several commando squads to investigate. None of them returned. They didn't ask me directly, but I think High Command is hoping you might help. What's your take on this? That they wouldn't ask for help if it wasn't important. The colony's coordinates are on the galaxy map. I'll try to figure out what's going on. All right. Cool. So we got the Citadel Defense Force to help us out with Earth a bit. We got the Alliance to help us a bit more. Zeus Hope. We got the Asari to help us out more because we uh, saved her. Ex Cerberus. Advanced Fighter Squadron. Okay. It's weird. Solarian. Third Fleet. And we got the Turian 6th Fleet. We're getting there. I still think it's bullshit I need to play multiplayer. I shouldn't have to play multiplayer to get a certain single player ending. It's just so gay. The fuck, Bioware. The fuck. No, it's... Commander, I've got a lead on something interesting. Have you got a minute? Commander, i found something you need to see. What have you got? A group of Cerberus scientists cut ties and fled. Perhaps they finally realized they were on the wrong side. We don't know what they were researching, but they were among the elusive man's top scientists. They could help build the Crucible. Maybe we could recruit them. Lots of Cerberus people think they're doing the right thing. I know I did. And you were right, Commander. Whatever crimes Cerberus is committing now, I was on Horizon when the Collectors attacked. Really? Yes. I was visiting my family during a university holiday. While the Alliance was running studies, you were saving me and my family. Has the Alliance tried to make contact with the scientists? They've been unable to find them, but they're searching. As is Cerberus. I've been monitoring Cerberus communications. I've charted signal frequency from various Cerberus cells by location and cross-referenced known ship movements. You found them? There's no way to be certain, but I've got a definite possibility. Nice work. Put it on the map and I'll give it a look. It's on the map now, Commander. Thanks. Okay. Uh, now what? Okay, James Vega. What do you want? Just wondering if you've got time. Okay. Oh my god, Diana Allergy's four. Okay. Go to my room. Talk to some people. Allers. Trainer, can you send Diana up? She wanted an interview. Right away, Commander. And sex. Ready mm. for a chat, Commander? Mm. I'm ready. Mm. Mm. Commander, 
It's no secret that Council Space has suffered some serious losses to the Reapers lately. Now Cerberus has struck directly at the seat of our government. If something as small as a human terrorist organization can hit the Citadel, is anywhere safe? Infiltrators are everywhere! Cerberus has limited resources. This coup attempt was likely the best they could do, and it cost them a lot of money and troops. A little fear is understandable, but it can't paralyze you. They've failed as many times as they've succeeded. But humanity has lost its counselor. The Alliance Parliament is destroyed, and the Prime Minister's dead. The line of succession is getting pretty short. How long do you expect any new Alliance administration to last? Leaders will rise. You can't lose hope. Our enemies won't rest until they've taken the last human being. Until then, we're not beaten. Right now, it's everyone's duty to step up. All right. Now a question from Thessia. Commander, during your tribunal, some said you had Cerberus ties. <laughs> Thanks for your time, Commander. This is Diana Allers for Battlespace. Good night, and stay strong. Be careful, Commander. You keep feeding me like this, and I'll follow you home. What the fuck? Looks like you already have. What happens now? You gave me a good interview, Commander. That's all I need. Poor. Tonight. Wow. Okay, that's... Stay away from me. Let's talk to James. I don't know, I think uh, that chick looks weird. <laughs> James. I've got some time if you want to talk privately. I don't know what she's wearing and... I don't know. Alright, James, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> hey, man, how's it going? Good, James. You? Good, good. Wow. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. You want your own ship, Vega? Yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. <laughs> You just come up here to make fun of your commander? Sorry, loco. I guess... Maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. Shoot. What did you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? I mean, was it a no-brainer for you, or... Did you think about it before accepting? The N7 program. See, this is something I don't know too much about. There's... You know, you have the Alliance, then you have a special division of the Alliance called the N7 program. It's kind of like the Armories and then the Green Beret. Like a special division. That's my assumption, anyways. Correct me if I'm wrong. The N7 program is a big deal. But it's also a big commitment. I hear that. You get the best training, best equipment, best assignments. And they expect the best in return. Yes, they do. Why are you asking? Well... Even all the shit that's going on, somebody, somewhere, managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. You don't sound too thrilled. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier is the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. I lot to kick my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone. And they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. You mentioned that before. What went wrong? What didn't go wrong? We were out on patrol, checking on some strange readings, and the collectors hit. But they hit the colony first. By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted, including our CO, Captain Tony. So you were in charge? Yeah. We laid low for a bit, waiting for a chance to strike, but before we could, we were betrayed. One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy working with the Collectors. I had no choice. I killed him and destroyed the Collector ship. But it got ugly. We lost most of the colonists and all but one of my squad. Not exactly a textbook operation. You can't blame yourself for being put in a tough situation. And if you were promoted, then something must have gone right. Sure, but... If you'd saved them all, would things have worked out better? I... I don't know. I don't think so. The right choice is usually not the easy one. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yeah. 
That's why I was asked. And it's why they asked you. There's not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed, either themselves or their soldiers at some point. So you think I should accept? Assuming we survive this, that's a no-brainer. You're a damn good soldier, Vega. Don't waste that opportunity. I'll think about it. Seriously. If you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Of course not. Gracias. Well, I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here It's a little too soft for me. The bed's a lot harder than it looks. I'll take your word for it. Thanks again, loco. Anytime. Wait, what? Uh, never mind. Alright, so... <clears throat> Got new stuff. Chest plate. Okay, is that it? No Ashley Williams? That whore? Anyways, we could change Ashley's, uh... Change Ashley's appearance. Here for the good old pink and white from Mass Effect 1. That's about it, early. I don't think you can even talk to Ashley. You'll go down there and she'll be like, sup? Pretty sure, anyways. Was she on the crew deck? Pretty sure she's on the crew deck. Hey, Garris. Shepard. Hell of a day. Budina loses his mind. The Citadel almost falls. And you almost had to put down a friend. Got a little tense there. If it had come down to it, could you have pulled the trigger? If they hadn't backed down? Yes. This war is bigger than any one person. I'll be sure to remember that next time we have a disagreement. Still, I'm glad Ash didn't have to join Caden. Losing one was enough. Good to have Ash back. We can always use a friendly gun. <laughs> I don't know if I could sh could have shot Ashley. Just for completionist purposes, eh? Hey. Good to see you. See what I mean? Good to see you. Are you kidding me? Good to see you. We got her back finally. Good to see you. And you can't even fucking talk to her. Good to see you. The fuck, Bioware. The fuck. Anyone else I could talk to that I care about? Fuck off, Chalk was. <laughs> per your orders, I have the latest reports on the council, Doctor. Security is in disarray. But it would still be weeks before we could attempt to position any agents in their personal staff. And it's far too risky after Odina's coup. Postpone those deployments. At once. I just don't like Liara's voice actor either. People ask me why I don't like Liara. It's not that I don't like her. It's just compared to Ashley and Miranda. Meh. Very meh. Busy? I have time if you'd like to talk. I like her as friend though. In fact, I could use the distraction. What's on your mind? Sex? How long it took the Reapers to eradicate the Protheans, and how long they'll need for us. It took them centuries to conquer the Protheans. We're not quite so widespread, but it would still take at least 100 years. It's selfish, but I keep thinking that if we fail, I'm only 109, Shepard. I could live to see the entire cycle come to an end. Only 109, huh? I know. It must seem strange to complain about a thousand-year lifespan. I used to think it was sad that most aliens live such short lives. Maybe it's not such a privilege to outlive so many. To witness so much death. She's got a point. People want immortality, but when you think about it, all those who don't have it, you'd never be able to, uh, be with them for too long. Don't drive yourself crazy about this, Liara. We're still in the fight. Only because you're still driving it forward. We finally have other leaders on our side, but none will take us as far as you can. Sometimes I wonder how you do it. I think of the people I care about. That helps keep me going. I'm glad I'm among them. 
I hope. Of course you are. I feel better already. Thank you for coming by, Shepard. Why don't we talk later? Will do. Uh, I don't know if uh, we already talked to James. Um, I guess we could just go talk to Joker and uh, Edie. See what they have to say. All right. Will hold. Pound for pound, they're the best fighting force in the galaxy. Pound for pound is irrelevant. We have a significantly <laughs> higher mass of Reaper forces overall. <laughs> That's why we're bringing in the Krogan. So Cerberus wanted to go into politics, huh? Nice job shutting those assholes down. Didn't you used to work for those assholes? Something about leather seats? <laughs> I worked for Cerberus when they were vigilantes helping the helpless. Now they're a little too mainstream. And evil. The important thing is that you kick their asses. And also that Ash aced the don't shoot your commander portion of the Normandy reinstatement test. <laughs> Go easy on Ash. He's been through a lot. Yeah, like drawing a gun on a superior officer, nearly getting the council killed. That's not going to look good on the yearly performance review. <laughs> Hello, Shepard. What's on your mind, Edie? The destruction of the Reaper on Tchunka. It is rare for a technologically superior force to be destroyed by an inferior one. Yeah, so now all we need is a gun that fires Thresher Maws. <laughs> that was a joke. I'm sorry, Shepard. I was contemplating. The Reapers are more fallible than they proclaim. Despite its best efforts, the one on Tachunko was destroyed by a worm. This has caused me to reassess the probable period of time before I am non-functional. You're worried about dying? In a sense. My processing power is consumed with calculations to help us combat the Reapers. But I can run those scenarios with the rest of the crew. May I ask you another question that troubled Jeff? Fuck no. Here we go again. What is the purpose of synthetic life? It's not that different from organic life. A free-willed synthetic chooses what it wants. But the purpose of organic life is to preserve itself long enough to replicate copies of its genes in succeeding generations. My purpose is not so clear. The other successful synthetic life forms that I have examined for comparison are the Geth and the Reapers. Reproduction isn't all there is. We find meaning in the work we do, good deeds we accomplish, love. I see. I will search my files on the biographies of humans to see if prominent figures follow the pattern you suggest. It appears many humans did in fact do so. That was quick. Gotta love quantum computing. Shepard, I will alter my processing power to give priority to your stated goals. Duty, altruism, love. Wait, wait, you're just gonna turn yourself good? Can you do that? It should take some time. If I have further questions, I will speak with you again. Thank you. Okay, so that. Um, Alright, thank you all for watching. I'm gonna end it here. Because, uh, yeah. That's about it. So when we come back, I guess we're going to... Well, we have a bunch on our plate now. I mean, we have uh, Corians to worry about. We have... Admiral Anderson is available in the war room on Fitcom. I'm sure he is, trainer. Fuck off. We got a bunch of stuff. Let me check. Yeah, we see we got uh, Find X Cerberus Agent Scientist. So we're going to meet an old friend. Investigate a sorry colony. We're going to meet another old friend. And, um... We have the Corians, yet another old friend. So you can probably guess who they are. But we're going to do that when we come back from next time. Thank you all for watching, and peace out.